Hello, so the time for the announcement of the winner of the International Booker is coming. Um, it's on the 2nd of June and I have had a nice conversation with uh, Kieran from KD Books about what we think our winners are and so on. Um, so yeah, this is the video for today. Um, enjoy! So, um, our order for the International Booker. Yes! Let's let's do it. Go, you go first. So we, okay. we so we go in. So we do it least, least to most. most. Yeah. Marvelous. You can tell we've done dress cool. rehearsals. Otherwise, it. It, it takes everything away if we do most. Marvelous. Least. Let's do it. Okay. So my first one, mm -hmm. least in memory of memory. Oh, that's mine as well. Yeah. But yeah, because it was awful. Well, it wasn't yeah. awful. It wasn't no, awful. It was just long <laughs> it was very long i think to be honest this should have been the size of the world of the pool <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> i i think i mean it sounds really weird saying it's long because it is it is the longest one on the entire yeah of the entire long list but i just think there's too much like passion in it like i think most most of this is yeah. stepping over rather than four a reader and... yeah like it felt you know when someone goes on holidays and they come back and show you all the pictures and you're like mm. yeah cool but they are having a, the best time of their life kind of like that yes of like really like but not even like it's not like they've gone to egypt and they're showing you like the great period it's like inside the hotel and you're like yeah. okay like i got that but i don't need to see like the meal you had i can go with that yeah, yeah. Be disappointed in this. Um, I've read Stephen Ober's um, some poetry. It's really good. Uh, the the, mm -hmm. the writing's really good. Yeah, I mean, the content it, is yeah. not. Yeah, I can agree with that. I can see why poetry can work better. Mm. But yeah, and also I don't know because it's it's not really fiction, so I don't know if yeah, there is a whole debate about that. But. It's do you know? I was thinking about this because someone said, well. Is it fiction? Is it not? And it was, I think what, I think because Fitzgerald, this is known, like the white cover is known for being yeah. the, the non-fiction side. Yeah. I didn't, I questioned this where I never questioned Krauser's who they was. And he's mm -hmm. like, well, that's auto-fiction. Yeah. And I don't think anyone turned around and went, oh, oh, hang on, Mr. Gabriel Krauser. I don't think you're eligible for the booker. Yeah. So I thought I was interested why, is, is it because Fitzgerald predominantly do the white covers that there's like a hmm that's weird or well, is this I, else I, I think know. that this goes in the same category as when we cease to understand the world because that's also kind of fiction but kind of not like it's of course mm. you are not going to know all of the exact details of someone but mm. it's so heavily based on someone's life that it just yes. goes into that into that limit I guess but, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, but I, I just think, but I don't think many people have said that about um, Labatut's work. I don't think there's a there's been a question of is this allowed? Is it not? Some people yeah. seem to get that pass. Yeah, in memory, memory doesn't. I, I mean, it's it's it reads very differently to Labatut. We'll probably get to yeah. Labatut soon at some point. Yeah. He is a journalist, but um, yeah, I just think that's just a really interesting conversational dynamic that people are having of. What counts yeah. what does maybe where do you draw the line on auto yeah. fiction? Yeah. Yeah, no. well, but th this is not even auto fiction because it's not about her life. No. So it's it's yeah. it's probably more biography. Yeah, more like biography slash essays. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I I, th I think I think if you're the I think if you like photography or like film theory more the theoretical side than the critical side of it i think this will be like right up your street and i think it, it's a niche person who's going to like this and appreciate yeah. what Steph was doing. yeah where for me i felt some of it i was like i don't really know what you're referencing or some of the very obscure um like russian works I'm yeah just there I'm going with you. Like I've not read Penin by Nabokov, but 
I'll agree for this moment. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I was really disappointed in that one, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know who I'd recommend yeah. it to. Maybe CJ. I'd recommend it to CJ because she's done photography. And that's it. Anyone else, I'd be like, <laughs> bend your money elsewhere. Buy something else from Fitzgeraldo, not this one. But <laughs> Yeah, like minor detail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really love that. I was really, you know, I obviously I hadn't hadn't read it up until this point, but I was actually really sad that it hadn't got on. Yeah. Because it's it's the best one out of all of yeah. them that I've read. Um, which are all of them. It 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 triumphs. But that's what I like about prizes. You don't get what you, yeah. you don't always get what you want. And That's I enjoy why you that. have to read the whole long list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should we okay. move on to the next one? Yes. Yes. Sh- should I go? Should we alternate? Be a little bit. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's go. I think you're gonna hate me, but I'm gonna go for the dangers of smoking in bed. Same because for this me. was yeah, it's goosebumps, and I I could read <laughs> goosebumps. Um. I'm, that's all I'm going to say on it. It's some spooky stories. Yeah. It's just bumps. I have actually not read this one uh, because okay. I, read the, I read the other one of Mariana Enriquez and I was disgusted. So I didn't want to read it. <laughs> it I, I don't know if this one is the same, but the other one was very graphic and I'm very quizzy. So I was like, mm. no, thank you. So I, right. I thought it was interesting that with with the dangers of smoking a bed, it was written seven years prior to yeah. things we lost in the fire. So yeah. I I haven't read things we've lost in the fire, but I feel like seven years experience on top. Yeah. Of like knowing what you want to do is going to make a huge impact. And yeah. Yeah. And for the way that I have heard people talk about it, this one is worse than uh, things we lost in the fire because things we lost in the fire does have some social commentary and things that I appreciated mm-hmm. but just the like I think the grossness is still there it's just people pooing in the street there's a lot of people pooing in the street well the other one is more like people <laughs> being dismembered and things so I suppose okay but- yeah, maybe the, the first the first chapter is like the worst. Well, the first story is the worst with mm-hmm. a um a rotten baby corpse. Um, mm-hmm. But it, it's kind of done in like a slapstick way. It's kind of like it's I don't know. It's, it it comes across a little bit kitsch as like this baby's like walking. And I yeah it yeah ignore it. It's <laughs> I don't know. I'd be interested in reading things we lost in the fire to see if it was different and see what people loved in it and if just mm-hmm. every case isn't the writer for me um but i i think even if this was to win because like, there's a possibility that could happen i don't know what mm-hmm. it was trying to tell me i didn't really see like a oh this is like a commentary on this it just felt yeah. like these are just some stories mm-hmm. Yeah, I cannot comment on that because I haven't read it. There was some commentary in uh, Things We Lost in the Fire, but I could imagine that seven years prior to that, she didn't have mm. that level to make that commentary yet. So, yeah. Okay, shall we go to the next one? My panic is that we're literally going to have the exact same thing, which I doubt. <laughs> it's but... possible. I think okay. the top three might be different. Or the top I, I have seven. a feeling that might be the case. Yeah. So okay. my next one is the War of the Poor. Okay. I'll let you talk about that because I haven't got that one. Because um, I mean, it was I liked what it was doing, but it was way too short for me. I mm. I, I read it in French, and it was like sixty something pages. Yeah, the English is sixty six. Yeah, and I don't think it was. Um, and also like the I don't know the edition was super tiny like the book itself but it was just like I need more (laughs) I need more I I think (laughs) from what I've read of people's uh, review I I think I'm the person who likes it the most out of most Mm -hmm. people I really liked it I I got very well, come on my thoughts when it comes up. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, um, okay. 
<laughs> but, but yeah, for me, for me, I think that the writing was good, and I think that it could have worked, but it was just too short. Like, even mm. if it was double the size, it was not a, a long book that would have worked with it. Mm. What what was it lacking then for you? A bit, maybe that's what. Well, it was just too short to connect to anything, or like, I just felt like. I don't know, like you read an article somewhere of a couple of pages of someone and then you're like, oh, cool, that person is cool. But then you want to know more, right? So that was what's lacking for me. Yeah. Okay. So is it, I, I, I mean, I got like loads of questions to ask because <laughs> I like it so much. But it, like, do, do you think, so from, from what I've gone from most people is in regards to this like article-esque um, mm-hmm. style of writing, uh, we'll come on to that with Labitude because I think he's doing something very similar. But uh, do you feel that people were wanting something like a Wolf Hall? Like, I want to know about Munzer and I want to, like, know him. I, I think that would work much better. Maybe not Wolf Hall, but, like, well, not the trilogy, but just, like, one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because it, it, he was a fascinating person and I, I just wanted to know more. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. But, yeah, but with that said, this like there are some others in the list that are less favorite for me. So I think in my personal favorite, this was mm-hmm. my third favorite. Just okay. I don't think it has as many possibilities. Yes, I'm gonna go for um, when we cease to understand the okay. world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I covered this in a very similar vein as people who speak about the War of the Poor. I can see that, yeah. It, like, it's very much... It's not as sparse um, as the War of War of the Poor, but I felt like some of it, I was like, I'm, like, I get what you're trying to say, and now I don't need any more of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't really find... The, the lives of the scientists again it kind of just felt like I was reading a biography of them mm-hmm. um which is which is okay and it's not that I, I want some fictionalization and what what I do note and what I do understand is that as we move further into the atom and into like past that we do get some more fictionalizations of what was going on mm-hmm. I can appreciate that but I felt this was trying to do something that it didn't fulfill. And then mm-hmm. oh, the last bit, the bit about the gardener and the tree, mm-hmm. I felt was trying to be like a really artsy move of like, ah, like you see how this all links together? And there was mm-hmm. me at the beginning being like, no, I'm not understanding <laughs> what you're trying to get at. Um, I mean, not that I... Not that I didn't appreciate it, because I had to, like, sit down and go, oh, okay, like, I see, you kind of have to, like, you have to destroy nature in order to see if it's going to be worthwhile in the end, and that's what's happened with the scientists, that they've destroyed themselves, or they've destroyed science, uh, humanity, and obviously it, it's it's a greater good in the end, but at, at what mm-hmm. point do you do that? But... <sighs> I, think, I don't know. Yeah. That, that's kind of, I, 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 yeah, like no, I, I was, can see was, that. I can see that. It's well written. I think I would give this to someone who reads Bill Bryson. I would feel mm-hmm. quite comfortable yeah. being like, read this. Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, oh, okay. But mm-hmm. I still feel as though the end would be a bit of like, what's, like, yeah. what's he trying to pull with me here? Like, who's this? Um, yeah. So yeah, I think it's a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I will get to that one later, but yeah, I can get where you're coming from. The next one. The next one. <laughs> next one. I've put this quite high up, but no, I didn't like. I didn't like this. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's David gonna Diops. be the same. Yep. Same. Um. I don't. I don't get why this has been so 
applauded by everyone. People are like I, really. Yeah, sold on. I know, I know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think it's because in some ways it slaps you in the face, but once it has slapped you, it's like, and uh, now what? Um, yeah. I, I don't really have. I just think it's been done before. No. <clears throat> okay, I'll clarify. What Diop's trying to do has been done before, but mm-hmm. the circumstance in regards to a black perspective on war. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know many. Maybe this is maybe there's a whole library full, and I've just not clicked on because I don't like reading about World War One, World War Two. You know, so they're all cliche, and this kind of falls into that. It's been done. People have talked about it. I don't think it's apart from the hands. The rest yeah. of it's pretty like oh okay. Um, I mean, some of the commentary in the war, I wasn't like oh like that's interesting. The hands are interesting, but, but it then, doesn't it doesn't go into it. It's just like oh this was a thing. And then it's like, mm. and now, yeah, are you not going to comment more on that? I don't know. I felt like it was, yeah, it was very I, I, standard. Yeah, it was just a bit. I don't know. I think I was just a bit disappointed because I didn't mention it in my review, but I think a, a novel that does it differently. I, I think I wanted Dio to do something more than a, a fairly modernist take, which I think mm-hmm. is what he's done. He's he's just gone down a modernist route to try to. I don't know, revive modernism. Um, it goes Chigozi Obioma. Mm-hmm. Is that Chiogi? Orch- the, um, an orchestra of minorities? The orchestra of one. minorities, yeah. Uh, Chigozi Obioma. Um, like he's taken the Iliad or the Odyssey, changed it, and spoken about Africa in a really interested way. And mm-hmm. especially how Diop treats men and women and how. Obioma treats men and women mm-hmm. are, are, are quite similar in regards mm-hmm. to the the patriarchal way, mm-hmm. but I think Obioma just like pulls her off in like a very unique, different way that this book didn't. Mm-hmm. I hope I've made sense with all of that. But... Yeah, no, I, uh, to me it makes sense. Apparently, it doesn't we don't make sense to anybody else, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I just think there's, there's voices that were doing very similar things, taking it in a different direction. I, I felt this was quite safe. Mm-hmm. Even the reveal at the end was a bit like. Oh, the, the end was so cringy. Oh, thank you. I, I, y- yeah, like I can go with it, but I, I felt as though I wasn't. Not that I saw it come in, but I was a bit like, oh, like, oh, okay. Like, that makes sense. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. Like, for me, I, I haven't read many uh, war books because that's not my thing. But even um, The Shadow King last year, I think, was trying, it was not successful, but at least it was trying to do something yeah. better. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, Mengista. I, yeah, that's another good shout. Yeah. It, it's it's a bit different and yeah. I, I don't think you need to like reinvent the wheel every time, but you need to like add some grease now and then to make it run a bit differently. Um mm-hmm. I mean that's literally not how cars works, but I did a drama degree, <laughs> so I'm going with it. Um <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't get the, the hype. I mean I I've spoken to people who are like, Kieran, you're wrong. And I know I, I have quite polarizing views sometimes, but this one I'm just like, I I am not convinced in the slightest will people be like, this is the greatest thing ever. Uh, Sarah from Freshly Red Books, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. But I, yeah. I, I'm, I just don't, I'm not seeing it. I'm, not, I'm just not seeing it. And I, I'd rather read... Uh, the orchestra of minorities again. I didn't even think that was that great. Um, no, I didn't think that either. It was better than this. Um, I, I mean, I didn't like Mengister's. No, think... either. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm out on a war novel. I don't think there's, there's been a war novel that I've enjoyed. That's going to come around and bite me, but that's foreshadowing but for everyone. Even, yeah. even if, I think even if I didn't like those books, I can see what they are doing. And I, I think that's mm. interesting. I think the things that this is doing, I didn't find interesting. I think if, if it makes people go out and look for books they didn't know existed, it's a win. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. Yeah, well. That's a win. That's I'm, a win. I'm glad that people enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, and I put this before the, the War of the Poor, even though I enjoyed the War of the Poor more, because I mm -hmm. think that this has more options to win because apparently everybody loves it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, next one? Yes. This is the runner-up. Yes. The runner-up. Oh, who's going to yes. get, get the rosette? I think we might have the same winner. I don't know, maybe. But okay. mine is uh, when we cease to understand the world. It's my runner-up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because for me, this one, I was super excited about this because I am a scientist, right? So I was like, yes, books about scientists. And it was like, I liked it, but mm. it was disappointing. Um, yeah, I think it was, as you said, it was a bit of also very short snippets of people's lives that were not enough. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that I think it's better than the world of the poor in, in, in the sense that the combination of them makes a point that is stronger than the world of the poor just because it's mm -hmm. one person. But yeah, I, I wanted more. And most of these scientists, like at least half of them, I knew them and I knew some parts of their lives. So for me, it was nothing new. Um, yeah. So it was a bit like, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, like Bill Bryson, kind of, when you read about, I don't know, quantum physics in Bill Bryson's book, like, <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. Nothing much. And also, I have to say, I read this in Spanish, and it was a bit weird, like the phrasing of some things was weird. I think I haven't heard anybody say that in the English version, but mm -hmm. in Spanish, it was weird. Like, and there was like typos and things, I don't know. I don't know if, why that did, but... I'm trying to think. It, it definitely has like a lilt to it. There's something a little bit um how would I say like like a milk I, I hate using milk but it's like the only like thing I could ever think of and it's not like Milkman but you've you've read Milkman. Yeah, yeah. But there, yeah. There's, there's something off about it. I don't know mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. Um, I, 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 maybe that there is this sort of, it's kind of teetering on oh, something feels a bit different here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. And it could be because he is Chilean. So he has a different way to speak Spanish than I do. But mm -hmm. yeah, the, the Spanish felt very off for me. Yeah. Th there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of, like, um, or how to describe it like a lot of like comma breaking mm -hmm. of like well, I'm just that, run off the sentence yeah but i guess that's spanish in general like whenever i translate something to english it has 20 commas and i have to edit it afterwards definitely the last chapter there was something it did feel like it was it was written by someone completely different mm -hmm. um which i get i don't know if that crosses over into the original mm -hmm. but it yeah there was something very what's the word not reserved but it felt very like distanced mm -hmm. whereas I feel as so we're in these lives and then when it comes yeah. to if it is Labatoot this is one thing I couldn't make out to the end I couldn't figure out if this was an instance that Labatoot has had that it's from his perspective of this is just some persona some every man Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was it was very cold. Is probably the best way I would put it. Mm -hmm. Because like the death of the dogs, it was like he's dead. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think that I, I cannot pinpoint exactly what, but there was something off about it that mm -hmm. was like almost there, but not. Wonderful. And then <laughs> my shock horror to everyone is the employees. Okay. It's the employees. I like it. I like what it's doing. I think people who are interested in art, criticism, reviews, I think it's interesting. I definitely think this this works best looking at the artist in question who mm -hmm. Olga wrote this for. Um, would be disappointed if it won. But I think... What do I think? It does... It's, it's do it does its job and it does it well, mm -hmm. but I have no desire to go back and reread it. Not that I okay. ever reread, yeah. but I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, that's that's like this took me. I'm I always say I'm not the fastest, but apparently I am for some things. But like this only took me like an hour. I was yeah, really it took me. It also took me like a couple of hours, and I'm very slow. So. I just kind of like plowed through it. Um, it's quite captivating. Um, mm -hmm. I think the the boundary between human, humanoid, and everything in between was interesting. But I, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything like negative. I, I I think it is a bit short. I think some bits are like I didn't really know why the statements are out of order, and I don't know if that why the reason is I, I know that the the uh the art installation is about chronos and time mm -hmm. uh, so i think it's like maybe like a little nod to it but i mean it does its trick it does it it does what it says it does what it says it's going to do it's different like a space odyssey on a ship yeah i'm down i'm down for it i, I mean if this wins <laughs> this wins i won't be upset i won't be upset like at all yeah, because this is actually my number one. Because mm. I, it's the one that I just enjoy the most. I think that the, yeah, like you said, it's very captivating. And I think the conversations that started are interesting, which is mm -hmm. not something I can say for any of the other ones, I think, for me at least. So, yeah, yeah I think that's why I put it in the number one. I still want, wanted minor details to be there so I could put it in the number one. <laughs> I think, do you know what? I think even what I put, would I put minor detail on number one? Or the War of the If they were seven, <laughs> do you know, I probably, do you know what? I probably would still go for War of the Poor. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Not only do I like just appreciate what Willard is doing mm -hmm. in regards to like it's short. It's written like a pamphlet. It's just like it's sparse, and I think this this has made me out of all the other books, made me go and do research on Munzer. I remember reading this, I go to review it and thinking, I don't really know enough about this guy. Like I need to actually go out and do, mm -hmm. go and do it, and I. I am a bit of an advocate of like if you don't know something, like go and search it for the box. Um, similar to uh, the employees, I was like, I have to mention the art installation because yeah. I'm not really understanding what's going on here. But this, out of all the others, has made me go, mm, okay, like what else can I figure out about this and the stance? But mostly, do you know why I want this to win? Right. Why I want this to win? I don't think it's the best book. I don't think it's the best book. Um, we'll talk about that maybe later. But look how short it is. <laughs> what that know. is such a statement. And I will say about the... I've never read all the international before. But mm -hmm. this feels like a very... This feels like a long list that has brevity in mind. Of mm -hmm. like short, concise, sweet to the point. I mean, the only outline is... In memory of memory, that's the, only, yeah. the the big boy 
amongst yeah. it. But if this won, I would love it because I do think there's a notion when it comes to reading that you have to be writing or you have to be reading like the 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 Wolf Hall trilogy. You have to be reading mm-hmm. like the Eighth Life, Moby Dick, yeah. all these big books. Yeah. Like a suitable book. Like look at like look at this. This is this. Like <laughs> I know, I know. I know more people would force their way through that. But if that one, like, what a statement would that but be? Of, like, you one, know what? You can win on a 66 page book. I would be all for it. One question What took you longer to read? The War of the Poor or The Employees? I think they were about the same. I don't think I, I didn't take me that long. I think I read it. I read it on the day I received it. Because I think that the War of the Poor is shorter, but I think this one, because of the way it's written, it goes very fast. So I think it's also nice when fast paced books also get recognition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. But I don't because know. At the I end- think- at the end of the day, it's the same amount of time. Yeah, I don't know. I maybe mean, do you know what? Actually, no. I'll say I think this might have <laughs> taken me longer. I think this might have taken me longer. I'll go with there. But I do think that's because there was a lot of there were there were times, and I can see why people do get frustrated with it. And I I'm aware of it, is that it's it's a time so brief that you're thinking, like where, like where are we now? Like how have we jumped from Munza over to this war? And like, oh wait, I'll be back. Or oh, we're talking about his father. Like, what's going on mm-hmm. here? So I think it's quite. It's got dissonance in it. It's not mm-hmm. fluid at all. But I th- I think people would give this a shot. I think even yeah. people said they don't. They, they don't like it mm-hmm. wouldn't feel as though th- th- like they've read, I don't know, something like The Eighth Life, which is like, mm-hmm. what, 900 pages? Uh, 940, I think, yeah. Like, how many people, I made this point in my Les Mis review, and I was like, and I'm aware I do it as well, but how many people get to the end of a big book and say it was good because you spent so much time on it? I feel as though there's more criticism towards this because you're like, this is 66 pages and I'm going to be, like, honest. Where I feel as though if you read, like, The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky, which is going to take I maybe, like, the quickest reader two weeks if they just, like, sit down and smash it, they'll turn around at some point and be like, oh, no, no, no it was really good, though. I, yeah. I, I would just yeah. love... Oh, imagine if a 66-page book won the International Booker. Because I do, do think, think there's something about... The novella that's kind of mm-hmm. like not shunned, but like, oh well, you're not read, you know, haven't written like a daughter tart. You haven't written like yeah. the next lady. But I think it is more difficult sometimes to read write small books and write big mm-hmm. books. If I, you make them work. So you know, as I don't like a war book, I found <laughs> my war book, but it is like I I haven't read anything like this. That's like, I like how unashamedly brief it is. Like, it's mm-hmm. not trying to be like, I'm going to give you all the information. You're going to come away knowing everything. There's a bit of like, yeah, you know what? If you need to figure out what I'm talking about, go do some research. I, I yeah. like that. I think that I wouldn't mind that if there was an actual wolf hole that I could read afterwards to get all the information. <laughs> <laughs> I I like it. I like how it talks about like class and society and how if you if you have enough money, if you have enough power, you can get away with certain things. Mm-hmm. And if you're weak, if you're poor, you have to like lump it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like like that's the way it is. If you think it's difficult I my issue, and imagine if this one, it would change the game. It would completely change the game. 
War of the Paws, my winner. Do you think it will, though? I wanted to. Yeah, (laughs) I I, I, I know that. I think, I think, I think it's got a shot. I think it's got a shot. I do think. I think if I had to choose three books in total that I think's got the chance to win, Mm -hmm. I'd go for this. I would go In Memory of Memory. Okay. I think this one. I don't think Diop Raven and Enriquez. I don't know. But I, don't know. I think I'd be happy with it. Like, I, I really enjoyed the long list. Um, yeah. Uh, this, I was going to say I enjoyed them all, but I really hate it. I really hated Wretchedness. I hated it. Yeah, that um, was terrible. But like, I don't think I will be like bitterly disappointed if like any maybe Enriquez maybe Enriquez I'd be a bit like mm, I don't really know why out of everything mm-hmm. but I think I could go with the others like I, I yeah I think if any of those won I don't think I'd kick off I don't think I'd be like bitterly disappointed mm-hmm. um even though in memory remember was was difficult if it won I'd be like I I get it I get why it's won because it is doing something different. But yes, and this was been really difficult because obviously with Booker, I was pretty set. Um, yeah. With, with Bird Sugar. Um, yeah. Yeah, this was been really different. It's been really, it's been, I've really enjoyed this prize like a lot more than I thought I was going into it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think I think if anyone was to pick up any of the thirteen, I think they I think they're pretty all safe bets to be honest. Yeah, except for Richardness, maybe. I don't yeah. know. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that, for example, for in memory of memory, I don't think it's for everybody. Like there are a lot of books that are not for everybody. So it's very difficult to to say you can write any of these and be mm-hmm. fine because they are, each one of them are for specific people, I think. Yeah. I think as well, um, the international, considering who's won, I feel as though they've all been the outliers. Mm-hmm. They haven't yeah, been like true. the third favorite. Maybe, maybe Discomfort of an Evening. I think most not people- really. I don't think so. I heard a lot more about that than any of the others. So I wasn't, I was a bit like, mm, okay. Well, I, I had a lot of, like, I think most people were um, shipping hurricane season. And what was Oh, the yeah. Other? Hurricane season was on that year. Yeah, that was really uh, good. Yeah. Also, I, I, think... I read, I've read Discomfort of an Evening. So maybe I was a little bit biased as well, being like, yeah, it's probably got a chance. Um, yeah. Um, I really liked the Adventures of China Island last year, but I didn't win. Yes. Choco, Choco Press? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, no, I forgot about Hurricane Season. Yeah, maybe that was the food favourite. I think it was that one and another one. I don't remember which one also was in, in there. Let me check. Oh, the um, Enlightenment of the Green Gage Tree. I think a lot of people also were shipping that. Oh, where the translator was anonymous or the author was anonymous? Yeah, the translator was anonymous. Yes, yes. Yeah, no, I, think, I, I know people who are still reading that being like, that's yeah, incredible. I think that one and Hurricane Seasons were the favorite. I'd go with that. Okay, yeah. But yeah, I always feel as though I, I've read three out of the like five official, I know um, Philip Roth and uh, Crash Decor, I won it, but they weren't for books. They were more like the body of works. I've read The mm-hmm. Vegetarian, mm-hmm. which I still feel is a bit of an outlier. Uh, they was probably the worst book I've ever read. Uh, David Grossman's uh, Horse Walks Into a Bar. That was horrendous. Oh, yeah, um, it was horrible. I read that last year. It was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, Discovered of an Evening's different. Mm-hmm. I think it's like a nice way of putting it. 
I, 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 enjoy, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I liked mm-hmm. what he was doing. Um, but I also heard that the translation was not very good. I read it in Dutch. And, mm. um, there were things like the, the kid, I don't remember the name. She, uh, she was talking to the mom and she was in, in Dutch. She, she was talking to her as mother. And then I think they translated this as mom which is a completely different feeling. Things like that mm-hmm. were a lot. And then there was a a joke that was not translated or something. Like the yes. translation was a bit shady. Mm. I know someone it. who went to a Dutch book club where I think half mm. of them read in Dutch, half of them read in English. Yeah. I came back with very similar reports of, oh, hang on, have we read the same book? Um, yeah. But I suppose you have to... It's, it's really difficult as someone who doesn't speak another language fluently. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, I was having this conversation and I was like, I kind of have to take the translation as the yeah. original. Is yeah. That, I, I feel but really I guess that's, I guess that's what the judges did as well, which is, again, yeah. more surprising then. Because I have heard, I mean, I didn't overly enjoy the Dutch, the Dutch version, but I think that's mm-hmm. partly also because my Dutch is not that great. Like yeah. half of the book I was struggling through and half of it is like, oh, I, I understand, I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, but it's also interesting for uh, these kind of prizes that they, they always kind of praise the translation. And I sometimes think, how do you know if the translation is good? You don't speak the other language. Mm. Unless is there, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know how the judges work, uh, especially in regards to the, the international. Um, yeah, I don't I think they know all of the thing. other languages. I mm. doubt that they can read Chinese and Danish and German and Russian and... Yeah. Hikuyu. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Unless there's a, is there just a... I mean, does someone check? I don't know. I I, I really don't know. I Yeah, but oh, then it's... A mystery of life. Then the judges, <laughs> again, have to um, rely on that person. So it's not one first-hand experience. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know who's going to win. Again, I, I think... I think when the winners announced, they'll be like, cool yeah I'd, yeah I'd just I think be like it's super hard to pick a winner for this one I I have no idea because I could say for and against things for all yeah. of them okay I don't think I'm gonna be even even David Diop I I know I'm not its biggest fan I'd get it mm-hmm. I'd be like okay fair um yeah 